we knew coming to India would open us up to some incredible experiences. <laughs> this is <laughs> India. <laughs> We're in <Oui>. India. <laughs> like cruising down the backwaters of Kerala, hiking in Munar, taking an overnight train, eating some street food. Oh, our first time to try street, proper street food in India. And just taking in everything India has to offer. But one activity we were most excited to do was to sleep in the Indian desert. Sunsets here have been just amazing, like stuff that just take your breath away. And it just so happened to fall on the same day as Keelan's birthday. <laughs> so a double celebration. So we're just at the office, the main office, and we're waiting for a jeep to come and pick us up to bring us to the camp that we're staying at. Yeah, all we have to do is wait for the driver to come and we'll be off. Hello. Shall I? Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. How are you? Are you well? Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> they all know. I, no, I just heard when he was. Oh, okay, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is a jeep. This is pretty cool. Isn't isn't it? Lift. <laughs> this is. We go to the desert in this. Yes. Lovely. Sir. This is the real deal. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> Let's jump in then. Thank you very much. There we go. We're in, ready to go. Here for holding on. We can hold on, but I'll tuck them in out of the way for now until we need them. <laughs> so we're literally driving through the desert. It's wild. Isn't it? The I know, it's unbelievable. Yeah, these little uh, hooks come in handy because the driver is crazy, but uh, yeah, it's all part of the experience. But the scenery is incredible. It's our first time to ever be in a desert. Obviously, Irish people aren't. Uh, uh, big desert goers. <laughs> in fact, I might be the first one to ever be in a desert. We'll see how we go and how we uh, survive. So, first stop of the day, a haunted village. <laughs> what a way to start our desert safari. Okay, so yes, as Samantha said, we are in a haunted village and we just got the lowdown on why, in fact, it is a haunted village. And uh, they said that the community called the Brahmins used to live here. And um, there was this one girl in particular, and there was a king from another village that wanted to marry this girl. So, yeah, long story short, the Brahmins didn't want the king to uh, to marry this girl so but yeah the girl actually because of the pressure committed suicide and then the king found out and then roamed into the village and just basically killed everybody so they say that the souls of all the people who used to live here still roam around the village so <laughs> uh, also they say a lot of tourists come here in the day but they said that nobody comes here at night. Nobody so would dare come, come here, here at, at night. night. So we kind of want to come here at night now, don't we? Just to see. No. No. Okay. Right. <laughs> just me. Just me. But yeah, that's why we're here. See any spirits in there? No. <laughs> they only come out at night. Ah. Okay. Right. Let's see. Get a bit of shade, though. <laughs> nice bit of shade. So warm. Yeah. So warm. Real quick, this video is sponsored by Manta Sleep. As you know from watching our videos, we constantly find ourselves in situations where we have to take long journeys, sometimes uncomfortable journeys, situations where all we want to do is sleep to pass the time, but it's not always that easy. This year, we want to make a conscious decision of prioritizing sleep, especially that we're always on the road. And thanks to Manta Sleep and their incredible sleep masks, they have made that possible. Manta Sleep provide amazing lightweight eye masks with various eye cups to choose from, whatever situation you're in. We have the Manta Silk Mask, which helps prevent wrinkles and those lions you get from waking up. They're ultra breathable and the six layer head strap gives optimal comfort and durable fit. A true 100% blackout for a deeper sleep. If you go and check their website, they do a variation of different masks. They do an aroma mask, which gently calms and relaxes. They do a steam mask, which alleviates stress and dry eyes. A cool mask, which soothes eyes and sinuses. And they also do the amazing Manta Sleep Mask sound with razor thin Bluetooth speakers and C-shaped cups for side sleep comfort. And many, many more. 
We've really loved trying these out for the last couple of weeks, especially the way we travel. We're always on the go. We've so many early morning starts. So it's really great to get that extra bit of sleep on our long journeys. They're so compact and easy to carry. And above all else, they're so comfortable to wear. So comfortable that we never want to take them off. So if you'd like to try them out, Manta Sleep have given us 10% off, which you can get by simply clicking the link in our description or by entering our discount code GOTIMETRAVELS10 at the checkout. And back to the vlog. Thank you. Hello, hello. Hello, hi. Okay, so we go. No, they got it. 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 They got that I was supposed to be holding on to where Samantha is. I pulled it off the bar. You know, I'm basically holding that's, on to that's, nothing. That's how fast we're going though. But it's great fun. Okay, so we've arrived. <laughs> so I think we're going to just basically drop our bags because we need to make the sunset. So yeah. it's like a quick check-in. Go, go, and go. Then... Okay, so we've arrived at the camp and I just had to sneak off here on my own for a bit. So basically I'm after arranging with the guy, I was sort of back and forward with him, uh, to see if we could arrange like a birthday cake for Keelan, because it's his birthday today. And if you could sort of do some sort of decoration in the in the room for us. So we went for the glamping experience. It only worked out with an extra 2,000 rupee. So we get a washroom and it's the tent I think is supposed to be very fancy by the pictures that you sent on. But uh, anyway, we're running a little bit late. So the idea now is we want to catch sunset. So you can take a camel ride or else you can just go in the Jeep if you're not into that. We don't want to take a camel ride. So we're going for the Jeep option. So he's going to drive us out to a nice sunset spot. And then when we come back, I think uh, the guys here are going to sort of just put all of our luggage into our tent. So we just have to check in really quick when we come back and hopefully yeah, it'll be a nice surprise for Keelan and I'm dying to see what way the tent is all done up for his birthday. <laughs> so yeah, he doesn't know anything about it, but uh, yeah, I think it's going to be nice. Stop, <laughs> drop the bags, and we're going to catch the sunset now. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Oh. So, obviously, catching the sunset is a huge part of the experience, so that's why we're it's go, go, go to see it. a bumpy ride. <laughs> oh look at the camels and all. Uh, I think we have a little bit of walking to do up that hill but look at that sun. It's stunning isn't it in the sand down. Absolutely stunning now. <laughs> okay. Well how do you feel? I keep saying it. India. I've never seen the sun ever as good as it is in India. I know, it's amazing. Just, it's just perfectly formed, you just don't, the clarity and everything, it's just the sunsets here have been just amazing, like stuff that just take your breath away.
so funny. Good. <laughs> I can be her guide, personal guide. But so I just heard the guy call Keelan for a chai. We're like, yes, chai, masala chai on the desert. <laughs> yes, please. Like little, uh, little snacks. I noticed pakoras. Oh, this is a nice little setup, isn't it? It is. Oh, another chair. Thank you. Take my some chai. Chai, lovely. Some chai. Yeah. Thank you very much. Ah, thank you. Much you welcome. Thank you. What is your name? Keelan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Durga. Durga. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Durga. Thanks for the choy. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, I have the desert in me. Shoot. Look at this setting, Keelan. <laughs> I know, it's perfect, isn't it? Watch your choy, it doesn't go into your choy, Sandy. Oh, yeah, Sandy Choy. <laughs> that sounds like an actress. <laughs> Sandy Choy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is perfect, isn't it? Just after the sun goes down. Golden hour, is that what they call it? Golden hour. Some chai and some snacks. Some little snacks, yeah, I'm not too sure of these ones. I think they're like, I don't know. Are they nice? They're like crisps. Oh, lovely. Or, or chips, if you have. Some them crisps that. and some masala chai on the desert. After our beautiful sunset and chai, we were served some dinner right here in the desert before heading back to camp for Keelan's birthday celebrations. Okay, so we're back from the sunset and wow, it was absolutely stunning. It's so dark out now though, so we've arrived back to the camp and it's completely pitch black. <laughs> it's gorgeous, it's all lit up. I've been inside the room and I've seen it already, but Keelan hasn't. I can't wait for him to see it. Are you excited? <laughs> oh yeah, we'll just, I want to get in and see it. Hey, let's go. Okay. Off you go. It is our room, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> well, happy oh birthday. Oh my God, thank you very much. Oh my God, my name is written on the bed. <laughs> what ah, do you think? That's great, isn't it? Jesus, I've never actually had that done for me before. I've seen it yeah. before, like, you know, people post stuff like this all the time, but... His name and petals. Ah, oh, Jesus, this is a nice touch. And the balloons. I can't believe they spent my name right. <laughs> That's C A O L A. That's a first. That is a that is a first. God, the room is. <laughs> look at the balloons. The room is gorgeous, isn't it? Isn't it? It's so big. Oh, Jesus! When you said uh, we were going to be camping in the desert, I didn't expect this. <laughs> We went for the glamping style because it was Keelan's birthday, but we're so impressed with the room. It's absolutely huge. God, it's really spacious. I didn't expect it to be this. I knew we were glamping, but like I thought it was just like a fancy tent. This is like a little mini marquee of a fan. Air conditioning. I don't think we need the air conditioning because since we got to the desert, I'm freezing. <laughs> but uh, it was warm earlier when the sun was out, but. So you're happy? I am happy. This tops, this is my third birthday while we've been traveling. This is the best one, Aww. the most unique one, the desert. It's unique, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's something a bit different than something I'll remember. God, I feel very special. <laughs> like, I, so I'm, say your name in rose petals. I know. <laughs> I know, maybe I should start making more of a deal about my birthday because I, I think I said earlier, like I don't, I don't really care about my birthday. Maybe it's just, I don't know, but no, you should, this, you <laughs> should. I, yeah, you're right. You should, I should. You should. But, it's nice to do something special for your birthday. Yeah. Well, this is definitely special. Look at that little balloons. Woo. <laughs> So once Keelan's happy, I'm happy. It all worked out. I have to say we're so happy with it. Um, the plan is now we're going to go out and have a sit around a bonfire, have a couple of drinks in the desert, look up at the stars. It's just going to be amazing, honestly. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Happy birthday, sir. Thank you. 
that's especially for you thank you very much thank you for your help thank you thank you for your help thank you very much welcome Put the cake. Put the cake. Put the cake for loads of, for everybody. Yeah, of course. Everyone's gonna have some cake. Yeah. I can't eat the whole thing by myself. <laughs> I mean, I can, but I shouldn't. Look at the fire and all. We continued the celebrations long into the night as we had some drinks under the stars. We want to say a massive thank you to the staff of Real Desert Man Safari for making this whole experience extra special, and also together to Unknown for snapping some amazing photographs. <laughs> You should dive on it. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> the next morning it was time to get some well needed breakfast and sadly leave the desert. We're in a little bit of the wars today. Both of us, I think we mentioned last night that we were feeling a bit snuffly, a bit under the weather, and both of us have woken up today a bit worse. I don't know if it's about catching the flu or something like that, but uh, yeah, hopefully some tea, some chai, and some breakfast will sort us out. Lovely. Ah, thank you very much. This is nice, isn't it? This, this is, is perfect. Hello, hi. How are you? Chai. Oh, lovely. Chai. Paratha. Paratha. Lovely. Oh. Oh, that looks very amazing. Nice, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank lovely. You. Perfect. Right, let's dig in. Let's dig in. The next part of our tour of India takes us from the desert of Jaisalmer to the blue city of Jodhpur. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Fresh on the stairs. Oh, it's quite nice. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. To follow our daily updates, make sure to follow us on Instagram at GoTimeTravels. We leave a link to our Instagram in our description of this video. Also, please make sure to subscribe to our channel. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.